Hey everyone, thanks for watching today. I am bringing you this super bright neon festival inspired look. Um, this is a collab with one of my YouTube friends that I made a few years ago, Chelsea Murray. I'll put her channel in my description box. She does amazing eye looks. I absolutely love it. We also did a video about a year ago now. I can't believe it's already been a year. That video I'll have linked in our or in the description box below as well. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. The button is somewhere down here. If you would like to see how I achieved this bright neon festival inspired look, then please keep on watching. So first I'm taking Max Soft Brown. I always like to use a neutral blending shade first when I know I'm going to be doing a really bright look or anything that involves a lot of blending I find it helps later on so I'm using my BH Cosmetics take me to Brazil palette and I'm taking this emerald green shade on a pencil brush and I'm smoking out the outer half of my lower lash line and then I'm taking the lime green shade and I'm applying it to the inner corners and blending it in the middle so that way there's a smooth transition between the two green shades then taking this neon pink on a pencil brush, I'm applying it to the inner corners of my eyes as well as my outer corner. And then taking this purple shade on a fluffy crease brush that's kind of tapered, I am bridging the outer corner and the inner corner and blending that color through my crease. Next I'm taking my NYX Jumble Pencil and Milk on a brush and applying it to the center of the lid where I have not placed any eyeshadow yet. Then taking this neon orange, I am packing it on top of the Milk Eye Pencil right in the center of the lid. And then with a little bit of the neon pink, I'm making sure that the orange and pink are well blended. And then I'm doing the same thing through my crease with the purple and the orange as well. And then with my Kiko Kajal liner, I am tight lining my upper and lower waterline. And then with the Maybelline Master Precise, I'm using it to draw or sketch out my dramatic wing liner, but I'm not filling in. I'm just kind of, like I said, just drawing it. And then with the Essence Liquid Liner, I'm filling in the wing and then doing a thick line across my lashes. And then to make it thin again on the inner corners, I'm switching back to the Master Precise and getting that fine detail that I'm looking for. Now with my Maybelline concealer, I am cleaning up my under eye area and covering up any dark circles that I may have. And then taking my Anastasia kit, I'm taking the banana shade powder and setting my under eye area. And then taking the warm brown shade from the palette, I'm applying it as bronzer to my cheeks and my temple. And then because this is a festive summer look, I really want it to be bronze, so I'm applying my bourgeois bronzer over top the same areas that we applied the other bronzer. To continue with the bronze look, I'm applying my Milani Blush and Rose Oro on top of my cheeks. So I'm taking the cream shade from the Sleek palette and I'm using it as a highlighter base and I'm applying it to the tops of my cheeks and my temples. I'm taking this frosted purple eyeshadow by MAC, I'll put the name in the description box and I'm applying it over top of the cream highlighter. I wanted something that was really bright and bold but still frosted and if you can see in the reflection it actually turned out really nice. I really like this color as a highlighter. I got these little jewels from Dollar Tree, they're self adhesive and I'm doing like a three in the middle, you'll see that at the end, I just want to fast forward this, um, and I'm just applying these over my brows. And this is what the jewels look like when they're done. 
And then I'm taking this Coral Neon Liquid Lipstick by Makeup Revolution and I am applying it to my lips. I can't remember the name, but again, everything will be listed in the description box. So this is my finished festival inspired look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just want to say a special thank you to Chelsea for asking me to do this with her. Her channel will be linked down below in my description box. So definitely check her out. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day, whatever you're doing. So please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye.